good morning students this is the last and the third part of chapter number 8 that is more on ms powerpoint 2010 now we have to start from the topic creating a photo album now let's see here this is the last topic of chapter number 8 okay and this is the last part last video also for chapter number 8 that is the part 3 now creating a photo album now the photo album feature allows you to easily create a photo album to share pictures now what are the steps to create a photo al album now follow these steps to create a photo album now okay creating a photo album have seen the topics in us see chapter number 8 edit more on ms powerpoint 2010 we topic me creating a photo album see okay now see the you know, photo album see come on create to gani I will see the okay, steps in this. The is in this. Now, in the first step, click on the insert tab. Now, first of all, what we have to do, we have to go on the insert tab. This is the insert tab design tab, like this. Okay, so we have to go to the insert tab. Then, after going to the insert tab, what you have to do in the second step in the images group. In the insert tab, there are many groups. Okay, many, many groups available there. From there, you have to choose the images group. Click on the photo album and then click on the new photo album. In the images group, you have to click on the photo album, then on the click on the new photo album option shown in figure number 14A here, the new photo album option here, photo album, and the new photo album option here. You have to click there, then the photo album dialog box open shown in figure number 14B. Now this is the Figure number 14B, the photo album dialog box. This is the dialog box for the photo album. Now the computer will show like this. Okay, when you click on the new photo album, like new photo album, when you click on this option, the dialog box for the photo album will appear. Then after that, click on the file or disk to insert pictures to the photo album. Now you have to click on the uh, file or the disk from the computer where you have saved the pictures. In which drive you have saved the pictures, the location, the part you have to go there. Okay, in order to insert the pictures into your photo album. And the photo album the how can have a pictures into the computer duty, maybe in the D drive, E drive, C drive, uh, or E drive F drive. In which drive you have already saved the pictures. And the pictures do already computer the car set or thummy hybrid matung in an drive to the nangi mangi part to the nangi location to chapiro. Okay, katuna ma and the file to insert tuna karma file picture file do. because we are making a photo album, we are creating a photo album, that's why we are inserting pictures. Photo album has a photo happy, photo happy in the album, the photo album has a lena when a pictures to never have to use picture yoga location part of the recipe and in which right computer karma from the we have to when you click the also pin it then move the pictures up and down in order to in order of the album by clicking up and down buttons the up down button say that click the video ka okay na photo album say mathakat mathakat palm brown mahara palm brown and for picture to okay move the pictures so up or down in order to in order of the album by clicking the up down button so we any click on create then so you can see create button say click to be made then after that your album your photo album is created you can now you can run the slideshow to view it now after creating this photo album new photo album you can now run the slideshow to view it now we view to over here we are now create over here so now up and down buttons in the season now up down buttons like okay This is the up button and this is the down button. Okay, pictures in the album. These are the pictures in the album. You can go up and down by selecting it using these buttons. That is up, up and up button or down button. This is up button. This is down button. Okay, if it is not visible properly, also you can refer to page number ninety-five of your textbook. The textbook the page number ninety-five. The open it. So now up button, so now down button. Now when I'm pictures, I'm going to click. Order to change the way, so change the way I need to click on create, see create button, you click on button, you can create your own photo album. Well, your own photo album will be created, and now you can run the slideshow to view it. Now, you can run the slideshow, the photo album, the slideshow, in the
okay now as we we have already completed that was the last topic for chapter number 8 that is uh, creating a photo album my last topic ni now this is a practice time here use powerpoint to create a photo album of your favorite family photographs now you must be having so many family photographs in your computer or in your mobile phone in your uh, in your father or maybe in your mother's mobile mm, smartphones okay so you can collect those photos and you can make a photo album of your family okay you can try this at home now testing time name the tape that contains the following powerpoint tools now in which tape does the powerpoint to photo album is in which tape it contains photo album in which tape you have to choose that maybe the design tape maybe the insert tape the photo album right here we background style guy we enhance and trans animations slides uh, start slide so then saves now these are the powerpoint tools now you have to write here in which tape it contains come but tape the yoga have to see do any now these type of questions may be asked in your exam also in exam this may be asked in a and uh, maybe in the form of fill the blanks maybe in the form of multiple choice questions maybe in the form of fill the blanks i can ask okay this type of questions also okay in which step is the photo album that is a powerpoint tool photo album contains name the tape that contains the powerpoint tool photo album or name the tape that contains the photo album name the tape that contains the background styles name the tape that contains the shapes of the power shapes the powerpoint tool shapes my hunger we have in a call so you have to use this is also you have to do as a home assignment now always remember the audience is not interested in reading a lot of text from the screen during a presentation now while making a presentation okay don't insert or don't write too many texts okay the audience doesn't like that the, 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 the audience is not interested in reading all those so many texts if you have given so many texts then it is not interested so instead of that you have to make it inter interesting using transition effects using animations using sounds and text would be less only the important topics or the important uh, important words or the important lines you need which whichever you need that only you put on the presentation queen presentation nam simul tam da text me am ha pa text am pa je reader do na am taleb Topic to chong chong text presentation. Same with the topic to yam chong chong or other. When only important about topics for important about just maybe one line, gumba, doga, maybe some two, three words or song, no gumba, doga transition effects, doga animation, pythora, passion up, then song hapa for background the song hapa gumba, natragana, when you transition effects a song hapa gumba, animation a song hapa gumba, soon business, reader the other moida interesting way Aduna, we should avoid uh, inserting a lot of text really too many texts okay we should reduce the writing a lot of text we should avoid writing a lot of text we should only put those things which are very really important or which need to be put on the slide so or on the presentation which is to be on the presentation only that much text should be present on the presentation okay slides for the data and present on the bus slides for the data their car away but takes the car over malu but takes or to cut on topic to cut on happy with them any don't neglect all those takes writing lot of text okay takes me i'm on my eva ma'am to the man maybe to be the name now recall what we have learned from this chapter number Eight more on MS Excel to the housing more on MS four point to the housing team. I have a chapter number eight. Now let's recall it. Now you can change the theme, color color scheme, and font of a presentation. Uh, theme change over here, color change so color scheme change over here, then a font of a presentation change over here. This we have already seen. Then you can change the color set. And pattern of a background, you can change the background 
pattern background pattern background set background color also that this also we have all the same also a picture can be used as a background pictures is also a background when you see them here only not only pattern pad pattern set and color na taba okay a picture can also be used as a background is also a taba the order of the slides can be changed yes using the mouse or using the buttons we can use the you can change the order of the slides also you can apply various animation effects on the slides yes this is also very true we can apply various animation effects then various transition effects and sounds also we can add on our slides now different slide transitions now as i have told you we can apply different or you can apply various animation effects as well as different slide transitions can be added to the presentation but adding song is not explain in this chapter that i will also tell you afterwards a kona i have already said the song have to be out there but we have seen how to uh, apply various transition various uh, animation effects on the slides and different slide transitions which can be added on the presentation which we are making i am see for you see now these all we have done in this chapter number 8 we have already studied now here completes our chapter number 8 more on ms 4.2010 hi basically the lower there for chapter number 8 as he as he the third part or the third video session class here the chapter number 8 as the lower shall now see now let's see some exercise which is given in your book that is exercise number a b c and all those things okay i'll just read out but don't worry i'll send you the pdf file also for these exercises textual exercises present in your book on page number 96 97 and 98 there is exercise a b c and d i'll send you in pdf format also Okay, I'll upload it in a Google Classroom. You have to log into the Google Classroom and you have to check the uh, materials which I have uploaded. Maybe the YouTube video or the PDF file. So there is the textual exercises and the textual question answers. Then the if it uh, if it contains any uh, extra questions also, you can see on the Google Classroom only. Okay, when I upload or when I put some updated When I, when I updated some material on the Google Classroom, I'll notice you. I'll give a short notice, or I'll inform you in the in your WhatsApp group. Okay, in your class WhatsApp group, I'll inform you that I'll uploaded or updated uh, new materials. Maybe YouTube, maybe uh, this one uh, textual exercises, textual question answers, or extra question answers. I'll inform you in the WhatsApp group. Now let's see here the exercises given in your textbook at page number ninety-six. Now, exercise A, tick the correct option. Now, which among the following is a presentation software? Now there are three options given here. Maybe in your exam I'll give you one more, and it may be four options present. But in your textbook it is given only three options. Which among the following is a presentation software? MS Word, no. MS Excel, no. This is a spreadsheet. This is a Word file. Now this MS PowerPoint yes this is a presentation software okay you have to click on this A MS Word MS PowerPoint you have to click on A like this and after that let's see here now question number two under which tab would you find the background and color scheme of a slide is it animation A number B design or number C view yes number B design you click on this number B design And which of the following is not an animation effect? Now, which of the following is not an animation effect? Appear. It is an animation effect. Flash. This is also an animation effect. Then this this appear is not an animation effect. Now the question is asking that which of the following is not an animation effect? So we have to click on this number B option that is disappear. Now number four, which key has to be pressed? to click the slide icon in order to select multiple slides in a row now if you want to 
uh, if you want to select multiple slides in a row okay which key has to be pressed to click the slide icon in order to select multiple slides is it enter key is it control key or is it shift key you have to click on this number b shift key now what is a motion path okay a type of transition no a method of advancing slides no a method of moving items on a slide yes now motion path is a method of moving items now like this you will move according to some part you will move okay predefined part a method of moving items on a slide so a motion part is a method of moving items on a slide you click on this number c option okay for number five what is the motion part number c you click here and after that fill in the blanks a dash is a predefined combination of a background with suggested color schemes for the presentation number one is tim e a s e m e tim then number two slide dash introduces a slide with special effects slide transition p r a n s i t i o n slide transition introduces a slide with special with special effects number 3 when you click on a text box a dash appears around it when you click in a text box a dash appears around it number 3 is answer, answer for this when playing number 3 is border b o r d e r border and after that number 4 dash view enables to see all the slides in a presentation at once all the slides in a presentation at once which view enables slide sorter s l i d e slide sorter s o r t e i slide sorter then number 5 dash can be used to animate elements that need to enter the slide at the time of slide show number 5 is enhance animations e n h a n c e enhance animations a n i m a t i o n s animations enhance animations can be used to animate elements that need to enter the slide at the time of the slide show then exercise number c tick the correct statement and cross the incorrect ones tim cannot be applied to all the slides in a presentation wrong cross the order of a slide can be changed using the normal or the slide sorted view. Correct. Tick. Motion part is a type of animation effect. Correct. Tick. Animation is used to describe how an object will appear on the screen. Cross. Animation. And after that, the last one that is exercise number D. Match the following. Now here, this icon is what? photo album photo album tool this is a photo album tool then the, what this is what what tool this is known as the what are tool and what about this this is the animation effects and this insert picture tool in order to insert picture you have to click here then after that the last one is the slide theme okay this number five is the slide theme here now here ends our chapter number 8 we have completed chapter number 8 here more on ms powerpoint 2010 now in the next video session class in the next class we will do chapter number 9 we will continue on chapter number 9 that is algorithm algorithms and flossards we will see in the next video session class ok ok for, for today let's wind up our class here ok students stay home stay safe and stay healthy and whatever exercise we have done just now you can write in your textbook if you have watching if you are watching this youtube class then you can fill up the exercises in your textbook on page number 96 97 and 98 but i'll send you the pdf file also and upload it the pdf for these textual exercises as well as the question answers in your 
uh, Google Classroom also. Okay students, stay home, stay safe and stay healthy.